Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, there's two things I need to do. First, I want to thank you for coming to my channel and for watching my videos and for supporting me. I do appreciate that and that's the reason why I say it every time I make a video. Because it's true. And the second thing is, and I wish you could see this, when I when I prepare for the day, the day before, I make a list of news articles that I want to talk about and also a list of the songs that I'm going to react to. And on the news articles, I put up the top, do not forget to show your shirt. And I kept forgetting. So I added it to the bottom, but I still kept forgetting. So now I've added it in between each and every one of the links to news articles to try and remind myself to do it. So I'm going to do that now. So here you go. This is my shirt today. See it? <laughs> uh, someday I'll actually just start doing that because it's habit. But until then, I got to have all these do not forgets up there to remind myself constantly. So anyway, here's today's first news item. Pentagon makes horrifying admission about its funding of gain funding of Chinese gain of function experiments. When I read this, I thought, and you know, I've talked about this before in other uh, daily news clips, and, and I, you probably know my attitude on this. We should not be doing gain of function research, period, ever, end the stop. But here we are. The year millions of people were killed worldwide by a virus likely engineered in the Wuhan Institute of Virology, Chinese scientists in Beijing began toying with a more deadly coronavirus variant called GX underscore P2V that killed humanized vo mice 100% of the time largely with late-stage brain infections. While not formally linked, the study referenced parallel work executed by Wuhan Institute of Virology scientist Dr. Xiu Zhengli. In March, Chinese researchers at the Hebel Medical University revealed that they had created a mutant version of the virus, vesicular stomata, stom stomitis known to infect cattle by giving it a protein from the Ebola virus. The hamster test subjects infected with the recombinant virus suffered weight loss, ulcerated eyes, inflammation, multi-organ failure, and then all died. Apparently the Pentagon has no idea to what extent it has bankrolled these kinds of potentially ruinous experiments in communist China. Really? We have no idea how much money we're giving to China, giving to China to experiment with deadly viruses that could kill every human being on earth. What, what in God's name is wrong with these people? What is wrong with them? What? I can't even understand this. This is so evil. It's unbelievable. Why isn't there someone in our government saying, Stop this now. It's just insane. We are putting the entire world at risk. And for what purpose? For Who knows what purpose? I mean, what in the world? It just, it's insane. It's insane. That's all I can say. It's insane. Okay. This is my second article. Fact check. Is climate change really causing more frequent or more severe hurricanes. This is an article on Day the Daily Signal, which is the uh, online magazine of the Heritage Foundation, which is a conservative foundation. And they're interviewing a guy named Legates, uh, David Legates. He serves as a visiting fellow for the Science Advisory C Committee in the Center for Energy climate and environment at the Heritage Foundation 
and is a professor emeritus at the University of Delaware. He's also co-author of the book, Climate and Energy, The Case for Realism. You can read the article. It's actually a what they call a podcast, and you can play it here. And you can also read the transcript of it, which I don't know if that's been altered. But my point in showing this to you is showing you these graphs. The global number of tropical storms and hurricanes is displayed in this graph. And this is over a 50 year period. And as you can see, it varies from year to year for sure. But <laughs> it's pretty much level, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's not changing, it's, it's pretty much level. At least it looks level to me. This is the global number of hurricanes. And if you look at the graph, uh, it's been down and it's been up, you know, the weather climate is variable, it always is. But you can draw a straight line right through the middle of this and make a straight line and it's pretty much level, it hasn't changed. So what's going on? This is the global tropical cyclone accumulated cyclone energy graph. And in this one, as you can see, there's a great deal of variability up and down both, you know, over the years for 50 years. But essentially, if you drew a straight line right through the center of this, it hasn't changed much. And then this last graph is North Atlantic Western Pacific total and major hurricane landfalls from 1945 to 2021. And as you can see, um, I hope you can see, the trend is in a downward direction. In other words, they're reducing over time. So when you hear the people on the news saying, oh, there's hurricanes, it's caused by climate change. No, there's no evidence of that. You can see that yourself in the graphs, there's no evidence. Okay, this next article that I have. If you're not familiar with it, there was a um, transgender uh, person who shot up a Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee. And the, this person had a manifesto, but the FBI didn't want to release it. And when you read this article, you think, Okay, I am a sentient human being. I do not need to be protected. I can handle bad news, okay? The 2023 Nashville Covenant School murders understandably received massive news coverage when they occurred. The fight over obtaining the murderer's diary also received news attention. But when... Uh, Nearly four dozen pages of the murderer's diary were finally released last week. The mainstream media completely ignored it. It turns out that behind the scenes, the FBI had fought hard against the diary's release. Some Covenant school parents also opposed releasing the diary because it would force families to relive the nightmare. The Tennessee Star's parent company, Star News Digital Media, successfully filed two lawsuits to obtain the diary. Five days after the release of the diary, with the exception of the New York Post, which is an, a national news outlet, the news coverage was limited in seven other cons cons to seven other conservative outlets, such as the Daily Wire and the Newsbusters. So this is a point where I want to stop and I want to mention something. The way that the news, the news media, distorts information for us. One of the ways that they do it is by just not even telling us about it. They just don't even mention it. And so if they don't mention it, it doesn't exist. And that's what they've done in this case. They didn't even mention it. They never discussed it. Now you would think this would be news, but apparently it's not to them. The school murderer was transgender and her diary reveals a suicidal left winger who hated whites. The FBI expressed concern that the release of the diary from a transgender person could lead, could lead the public 
quote, to dismiss the attacker as mentally ill, which would, quote, further permeate the false narrative that the majority of attackers are mentally ill, unquote. Okay. So what you're telling me now is what you, the FBI believes. This is what the FBI believes, that a sane person, a person who has a sound mind, would actually get a gun, load it up, go someplace, and shoot up a bunch of people. A sane person would do this. No. No. By definition, if you shoot up a crowd of innocent people, you're not sane. That's just by definition. You don't even have to think about it. It's... Oh, God. Ah. <sighs> The FBI says it worried that the diary could potentially inflame the public. You know, I'm sick and tired of being coddled like I'm some kind of baby, like I can't take bad news. Come on. We're adults. Tell us the truth. The FBI worried that releasing the diary could have unintended consequences for the segment of the population more vulnerable or open to conspiracy theories which will undoubtedly abound. Self-professed experts, the FBI fears, will proffer their perspective in the press. So, do you not think I'm intelligent enough to figure that out? But there's a lot of important information in the diary, as it is very typical of mass public shooters. The murderer was suicidal, a terrible feeling to know I'm nothing of the gender I was born of. I am the most unhappy boy alive. I wish to be dead. She was also on the anti-anxiety drug bus, uh, buspirone, I guess it's pronounced, whose potential side effects include abnormal dreams, outbursts of anger, tremors, and physical weakness. There's so much about this that just irritates me. It's it's the it's the coddling, the treating of us of we adults, us adults as somehow unable to handle bad news and some uh, somehow unable to process news from different corners of the globe and from different uh, opinions and not be able to figure out what the facts are. Like the FBI is so much smarter than we are that it has to keep this stuff to itself. Come on, man, give me a break. And then the, you know, I've always, I've always been upset by this idea that somehow you can be found uh, uh, guilty by reason of insanity. No, you're just guilty. You did something wrong. You're guilty of it. Forget the insanity. If you're insane, let's get you help. But for crying out loud, man. Uh, I just am tired of being treated like I'm a child. Okay? That's all more I'm going to say about it. And this last article that I have, I found interesting. I don't know if you are not. It's, it's kind of localized. The Kansas uh, Attorney General Chris Kobach accuses Pfizer of misleading vaccine marketing in lawsuit. Now, I know that uh, Congress exempted the uh, drug manufacturers from lawsuits having to do with the vaccine. So apparently, uh, Kobach has found a way around that, which lawyers often do. They look for loopholes and ways to get in there so they can make their money against the pharmaceutical company, alleging that he misled, they misled the public that it was safe and effective, violating the state's Consumer Protection Act. So... We'll see if that goes anywhere. I mean, you know, I would imagine that they will try to dismiss it almost immediately. And whether it gets dismissed or not, I don't know. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. But I thought that'd be something you might want to know about. As always, I put all the links in the description of my videos so that you will be able to read those articles if you're interested. And I thank you for coming to my channel and I pray for you. 
I pray that you will have an abundant life, that you'll live a long time, that you'll be healthy throughout your life, and that God will bless you with his grace, his mercy, his love, his joy, and especially his peace. And I pray that he will do that for every single person that you love. This is the Vietnam Air Vet, out.